the line started in the early hours of the morning, even before uh, the doors of the Basilica were even open to the faithful to pay their last respects. The body of the Pope Emeritus was moved in the early hours of the morning as well from the monastery that he lived in for the last 10 years and where he died at the age of 95. And so he was placed in the position inside the Basilica in a simple ceremony and then the doors were open in the queue. Uh, we've seen nuns, priests, but also lay people, people who just want to bid their final farewell and pay their last respects to him. Uh, the body will be lying in state till Wednesday, every day till 7 p.m. So it's a chance for everyone who wants to, to be able to come down to St. Peter's Basilica. Among the first uh, there this morning, this Monday morning, uh, we saw the Italian president, Sergio Mattarella, uh, paying his last respects. And then in a separate delegation, the Italian prime minister as well, Giorgia Meloni. Now, the Pope's body, the Pope Emeritus, is dressed in red papal robes. Uh, he's wearing wearing a gold-edged mitre on his head and he's carrying a rosary in his hands. And that's what uh, the faithful will see when they file past. Now, everything will culminate, of course, as you mentioned on Thursday, that unprecedented funeral led by a sitting pope, Pope Francis, uh, for his predecessor, uh, who made that uh, historic decision back in 2013 to resign, becoming the first pope to do so in some 600 years. It was a Seema Gupta reporting for us there.